Colin. Hi, my name is Rocky and I would like to give a shout out to my favorite YouTube channel Quantum Fly. Not a bad lunchtime spot here in uh, Montenegro. So here we were out on the balcony and these people suddenly show up next door. <laughs> My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a discovery flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, we finally made it on board the Norwegian Gem. Hey, good morning. For those of you new to the channel, this is the second time I've done a cruise video. So if, you enjoy, if you're enjoying it, let me know. This is, you know, there's more to come. It's day one of this Greek Isles, northeastern Mediterranean cruise where everybody's in bed. Just got out of the gym. A uh, little pointer here if you're going on a cruise. I get in the gym early because all the partiers are still in bed. So it's a good time to go. It's quiet sit here and have some fruit and some uh, cottage cheese. Just enjoy the, the slow hum of the ship. Today's going to be Montenegro, KOTOR, and uh, prior to this cruise, uh, I actually had to locate it on a map. It is right between Italy and on one side, on the west side, and Greece and Croatia and Montenegro and Slovakia and those countries on the east side. We'll see what today holds. I've never been to Montenegro. I don't know what they have there, but I guess we'll figure it out today. I'll try to get some good footage. In the meantime, if you're liking this, please don't forget to reach out. Let me know. Good and bad. I mean, again, I'm trying to adapt the channel to my lifestyle. And, um, you know, maybe there's something you'll enjoy. Uh, I always said that uh, I wanted to do something that you know nobody else was doing. When I started the channel, nobody was doing SR-20 aircraft. So I wanted to to talk about my SR-20. Well, now I've got an SR-22. There are a lot more channels out there doing SR-22. At least uh, for me, it'll be more about the Garmin flight deck and, and learning that. So plenty of content left. And um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Love to make you a part of the channel. You can enjoy these far-flung places just as we enjoy them. Good morning of the uh, first day, the uh, stop in KOTOR. I don't know if you can see behind me on the distance there. Some great views coming in. Just 
beautiful white stone cliffs coming into view here. Very reminiscent of this in the northern Mediterranean area. Right here in the, uh, the body of water located between Italy, Slovakia, Croatia, Montenegro. Here is the entrance to the mouth of the secluded harbor known as Kotor, Montenegro. I can see these little fortifications on the corner there. Out on the balcony, and these people suddenly show up next door. <laughs> We're looking at the fortifications. We're all looking at these fortifications. What's your name again, sir? My name is Pavle. Pavle. If, if easy for you, you can call me Paul. I got you on video. Thank you, sir. YouTube, Quantum Fly. Thank you. Inside the walls, what you see now is the same <laughs> like back 500 years ago. Really? It's not allowed to add the new buildings to basically not to change the look of the town, even if right. you want to add like air conditioning and stuff. You need special permit, but like usually sure they won't give you a special permit if it's like the changes the look. And yeah. you see on the windows, the shades, they are green colored. If they get damaged over time, they depend on right. I'm guessing they're gonna withdraw the, the sanctions because the country is gonna bankrupt. Boka Kotorski Zal? Boka Boko Kotorski Zal. Boko Kotorski Zal. Zalip. Zalip. Yeah. Look at that. Now I'm learning, now I'm learning uh, Slovakian. Just saying. Look at this view, huh?
What do you think? <laughs> this is the old town of Perast. P E R A S T. A uh, very famous old town here in Montenegro. You can certainly tell by the ar architecture that it is very old. Cool little. Uh, steeple up there, the bell tower. Um, rich history here in Montenegro. You don't hear all of it. Well, you hear what you want to hear, I guess. You hear what, what's reported, but uh, you know, everything has been calm since 1999. Since the wars, they received their independence as a country in 2006. And uh, a lot of apparently happy people here. But what a cool looking waterfront this is. And there you can see St. George's Island, which is, nat which is natural, and then Our Lady of the Rocks out there in the background, which is a man-made island made from shipwrecks that they continually added rocks to. So we're going to go look for something to eat and dine right here by the bay, picturesque bay, and uh, just cool stuff. I mean, just a really cool little city. Definitely looks very old. Thank God nothing was damaged. And if it was, maybe it was renovated. I don't know. But it's very cool. Not a bad lunchtime spot here in uh, Paras, Montenegro. And a great view. We're right out here by the bay. Great view, John. This is a great view. There's John with the bay in the background. Just picturesque. Striking. Striking post. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Here's our view for lunch. Great view. Great country. I great people, yeah. I recommend it. Come to Montenegro. And, and great beer. Nixico. drop you off in the market. Hopefully uh, there aren't any small children watching this video.